certain um, conscious philosophy of the way they go about life mm. uh, make them more interesting and hence empathetic in a screenwriting sense. Mm. So those four categories again: uh, funny, cool, uh, empath uh, sorry, funny, cool effort, and um, trickster are not uh, ranked in any order. However, my five categories for sympathy are ranked in uh, ascending order from least important to most important. They are family, uh, bullied, uh, noblesse oblige, community support, and self-sacrifice. Wow, that's and, quite different. And to break that down, what it means is uh, family means when you see a character uh, connected to their family in a situation lacking conflict, uh, you immediately feel for them. Uh, meaning that conflict is the norm in the screenplay. So if you have a scene where there is no conflict and people are bonding with their family, it's touching. Mm. Uh, second, bullying means if you see a character bullied early on mm. in the story, uh, you immediately know that they're the good guy and the bully's the bad guy. And then, ideally, at the end of the script, uh, they, through effort, will overcome the bully. And mm. then that's a very emotionally rewarding uh, experience. And the my, my purpose in all of this is to get at uh, what makes at least me cry when I watch films and I'm guessing what makes a lot of other people cry. Mm. And then the next one is Noblesse Oblige, which is otherwise known as Save the Cat, which means that a powerful character uh, does something to help a less powerful character or animal um, and when they don't have to, they do it out of the goodness of their heart. Mm. And that is another touching moment. The next one is community support. It's when the whole town, the whole village rallies around the main character, mm. usually toward the end of the film, mm. for a big uplifting finale. Mm. And then the fifth one is the most powerful, is self-sacrifice. Oh, is where the character, uh, uh, it's self-explanatory, but uh, like in Armageddon with Bruce Willis, uh, mm. kills themselves to save the world. Yeah. And uh, that always, uh, it's almost guaranteed to bring a tear to the eye of the audience. So the reason I'm so fascinated by this is I hold this, uh, again, the empathy, empathy, sympathy thing is kind of accepted wisdom, but to break it down in such a mechanical way is my own um, thinking on it. Mm. And I've, again, tested this with several people and nobody's really shot any holes in it thus far. Mm. So I'm interested to hear any feedback that you receive based on maybe this video and refine the theory further based on comments. But um, what I'm trying to say is that here's the controversial part. I would argue that Hollywood, um, by accident, mm. has uh, keyed into some universal human morality. Because the fact that hu Hollywood films travel so well, mm. meaning uh, that they are not culturally specific and that mm. they work uh, anywhere, mm. um, means that the things that they use, that many Hollywood writers use and directors use subconsciously, because they just know that's how a movie should feel, uh, and the things that I'm thus breaking down into these uh, more scientific categories, mm -hmm. uh, these things perhaps are things that are part of basic human morality that uh, one should be connected to your family, one should not be selfish, et cetera, et cetera. And that these transcend religion, transcend culture, and uh, perhaps get at the, the essence of what it is to be human. And that's always been Hollywood's mission, uh, or, or uh, storytelling mission, is to explore the, the human condition. But I, I am particularly interested in moral philosophy, and moral philosophy, moral philosophy as applies to film. And mm -hmm. that's the uh, origin of this theory. All right.